What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 video. And today we will be hopefully finishing, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we'll be finishing up the entire engine bay and front suspension for the uh, the Maserati. Uh, we'll be putting everything back together and running it on the dyno and testing it, seeing how it runs. Oh, it's a Gran, Gran, Gran Turismo? Something like that. Okay, but yeah, we'll be doing that today. So we'll start with the suspension since we got the entire car looking nice last time. Still that nice fastback Mustang over there. All right, let's check and see. We got everything. All right, got the knuckle on, wheel hub. All right, we'll swing around over here. Oh, we need a rear sway bar B. All right, so nope, car part shop. No, not car part. Um, so I've decided, guys. So I saw some of you guys were saying, do uh, somebody said in the comments section something about uh, performance parts. Um, I was thinking about doing performance parts for this Maserati, but then I thought about it. And I thought it'd be probably a lot more expensive. So we're basically we're gonna put in that fastback over there. We're gonna put a uh, what do you call it? We're probably hopefully I think I think he I think it either has or comes with. But we're gonna put a uh, I'm blanking here. Oh, we're gonna put a, like a full-blown V8 engine in it, and we're gonna supercharge it, and we're gonna have the supercharger coming out of the hood. I think we can do. It's all in like the performance pack, which I do have because it's like a little special DLC for this. But yes, we'll be doing that next video. Actually, probably not next video because we still gotta tear it down and do everything. But but that is the plan with that with that car in particular is to make it look all. Uh, Crazy, crazy fast. Then we're gonna hit, toss it on the dyno, see how it runs, and that's actually very, very exciting. At least I think it is. Let's see, rear shock absorber. We need two of these guys. And then we need the end links. There we go. With that. I wonder if we have any small rubber bushings. No, we need. Two small rubber bushings. Say so earlier today, I went uh, snowboarding for the first time this whole season uh, that we've been able to, at least with uh, Grant from the squad and Spencer. Actually, me, me, him, and Spencer all went. And we'll swing around over here. Check this side real quick. So we need a regular brake disc, two regular brake discs, and spring. rear spring so this is nice that we don't have to do any leaf plates i honestly i hate doing leaf plates mainly because all the extra parts that ends up adding on to it um for sure we got quite a few no pads dang Let's see, pads two pads eight bucks total and we also need to get a uh a rear spring cap or is that is that a rear shock absorber cap Oh no, okay, we'll just, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll hope, we'll hope that that's, yeah, that is what goes on top there. Okay, that's good. It's getting a little worried there. It's like, oh no, I don't wanna be wasting, just wasting money out. All right, let's see. We need a hub bearing. I swear I thought last episode I was able to repair the wheel hub bearings, but I think off camera I went through and I went through all my old parts and I sold all of the old parts that this car had that it no longer needed because I wanted to get a little bit of uh, some extra cash in my pocket. Uh, he actually gave me like I think it was like 2000, 2000, which was quite a bit actually for just a bunch of junky random spare parts. I mean they were all at like 60 so that was nice. But We'll grab this fuel tank, and then I'll see if we need to buy a new fuel filter. Do I have one already? Yes, our fuel pump, I mean. Excuse me. Uh, get another bushing there. Let me slide over here to this other side. So we should have most of the parts that go down over here. Ah, can't zoom in. Because I, I always buy two. I always buy two. Scroll around. Marble bushing, end link. Oh, I think we'll need one of those lower yeah, these lower rear suspension arm A. 
Let's look for this really quick. Rear suspension RMA, 145 bucks. Dang, that is, that is steep. Uh, we have a couple of rear suspension arms, upper suspension arms. We tap down, do a bushing. See, that's one thing I, I can't forget. I just can't forget the bushings. That's my main issue in this game, usually. All right. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this brings the total value of the car up once we finish the suspension. I'm not sure how much the suspension matters in this. For uh, price wise. Because I know the engine is a huge part of this car. Because it's, it's a turbo? I think it was turbo car. I think this was actually a uh, twin turbo. There we go. Zoom out. Get the rim on. Oh, yeah. I forgot we lost the rim during the repair process. Man, that's. That's gonna cost us. Oh no. Oh man, there's a lot to do on here. Alright. So we need one, two, three, four. So we're gonna need four rubber bushings. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Seven new exhaust pipes, and we're gonna grab two front exhaust pipe V8s. I should have got that done last episode. Front exhaust pipe, V8. There we go. Just some little stuff that we, just some little stuff that we gotta get done. Over here. So yeah, I'm sensing that since I really, really want to finish this entire car this episode, that we can get, so we can start it on the, uh, on more of the performance for that car. But I'm, I'm sensing that we're gonna end up running a little late on, or a little long in this video. We need a front sway bar, B, and then tie rods. There we go. Front sway bar, B. We're gonna need some tie rods. Oh, we gotta put steering knuckles in so we can get these. We need two outer tie rods. We're saying, well, we know we need two because we need one for this side and one for the other side. Ooh, lower suspension arm. We have a few front wheel hubs. That's nice. I'll need to remember that. So I don't I don't go overspending later. So we need two caps, two vent ventilated brake discs. Brake disc ventilated. Some caps. Oh, wrong caps. There we go. Alright, so I kind of I'm just bouncing around a bit. I got some of the engine done a little bit. Got a bunch of the suspension parts basically done so now we're going to go up to the underside of this engine and we're going to try and get the crankshaft in all right crankshaft use the plain v8 and then we will yep that's right we need to get an oil filter all right so we'll grab an oil filter v8 da, 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 da. there it is and then we'll rotate up around here a little bit looking through the body of the car and we will get this rear gearbox done. So let's start with the uh, the flywheel. 500 bucks for a flywheel. That is the clutch plate and then we'll need a clutch pressure plate and we'll need the clutch release bearing. Which is fairly actually realistic. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. We're just going to pick up all three of them. Yeah, no, no point in just Exiting back and forth. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need them and you always need a clutch uh, release bearing anyways <laughs> Even if there's one. Oh sweet. We managed to repair. See when it comes to repairing things guys It's I mean yes, it's it's bad when you lose like the small parts because it just takes a little bit more time But if you get the engine block and the gearbox, I mean that on this car, I think alone saved me What was it? Yeah, and like when you get the drive shaft, that still doesn't get broken when you're in the pair. But I think that ended up saving me like seven to eight grand. I think somewhere in there. The engine was thirty nine hundred. So yeah, no, that'll save you a lot of money. Just a little tip for you. Don't don't get too sad when everything else breaks, but you keep those because those ones will save you large amounts of money. Okay, get the cap in. Pistons, so we need to get the pistons in, then we can put the, uh, what do you call it, oil, 
I'm, 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 I can't believe I'm blanking on this. I'm just gonna blank on it till I, till I fix the part. Oh, we need eight pistons. No, not, not bracket. Oh wow, they have different pistons for the W12. I was gonna say, and I hope I think most of you guys out there know what the W12 engine is. I mean, if you don't, I guess I'll explain it to you really quickly. So this is a V8. So the let me slot this one in. So the engine sits in a V formation. So you have pistons going here and pistons going here. And the W12, it's basically two V8 or it's basically two V6 engines. Um, so you have w one here, one here, then you have another one here and another one here. So it's just, it's a huge, huge, huge engine, and it looks like a W, so that's why they call it a W. And then, because V engine looks like V, and then the inline, because everything's in line. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory in the beginning, if you can figure it out. But I'm kind of excited. If we can, after we finish restoring these ones, if we can manage to pick up a Bentley, that would be insane in the auction shop. Oh, I don't, I don't even, I don't even want to think about how much those have run though. Probably run insanely high. Probably, they probably start the auction at fifty thousand dollars. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt they start. Yeah, even if it's like literally the worst Bentley you could possibly ever look at, they probably still start it that high. Cause like you guys saw, um, that other Bentley we worked on was two hundred fifty thousand dollars in real life. The, ben the Bentley Continental, the GT, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that is not a cheap car. Definitely not something that I would go buy. I mean, yeah, even if I had unbelievable amount of money, it's still not worth it. All right, so we almost got this other side of the engine done. What's holding me back here? Second. Oh, okay, the other side doesn't have theirs on either. Oh, I need that manifold. That sucks that I didn't. That sucks that I wasn't able to hold on to that manifold. Um, not the carb. No, right there. This is a very, very interesting looking manifold, by the way. Check out another fuel rail. I want to spell that out all the way. <laughs> the fuel rail. Please tell me it was a DI series. Yes, it was. Okay. Getting a little worried there, guys. And girls. All right, get this other turbo housing in. There's a turbo right down there. I think you can, ah, yeah, you can see the little propeller blades. That's pretty cool though that they got that in there. Ooh, we managed to save that timing cover. That's nice. Oh, oh, I don't, okay. I don't know if we have any of these pulleys. Um, so we need water pump pulley and crankshaft pulley. So we'll just type in pulley and we'll see if we can find it. Everything from, uh, not pull, pulley, pulley. Um, oh, don't do it again. Come on. Come on, Zach. Okay. So crankshaft pulley V8. We need a water pump pulley. Get those four screws right in there. Crankshaft pulley. That one. And then either rolly. I the roller B. So we need what is that? Five B's, one A. All right, let's check this out. I the roller, one A, five B's. Actually, not four B's. Four B's. Nope. Five B's. Dang it! I gotta go back and buy another one now. I think I need a tensioner right there. I wonder if I was able to save that tensioner. I don't know. Let's see, we need a serpentine belt B for V8. Serpentine belt. All right, there it is. 48 bucks. That's it's not terrible. So we need a belt tent. Oh, whoa, we. Tabbed out a little too far. I mean, serpentine belt A. Well, there was the B. A. And then we need a belt tensioner. 
the W the when they released the W twelve engine for that Bentley DLC, they released a lot of new parts actually for that engine. Like I'm pretty sure if you just type in W twelve, you can just pick up everything. Oh, we did have another idler fully A. I I completely scrolled over that one. All right, now we'll go over to the engine head. Oh, and we managed to save one. It still, it still saves us some money. Kind of wish I would have made a uh, conscious note of how much, or I would have made a note of how much we ended up saving in the end by repairing everything. I think, I think that was eight. I don't know. I, th I think I might have missed one actually. That's okay. But yeah, I wish I would have made like a note to see how much money we actually saved by going back and. Uh, preparing everything instead of just completely just trashing everything and starting from new. See, I, I'm pretty sure I know that's how they make more money. Or some people make more money off these jobs. If you manage to repair almost everything, then that's, that's pretty good. Is this head cover called something different from that one? Did they both head cover B's? Yeah, that was A, that was B. That's weird, actually. Radiator in. Um, do a quick once over everything, everybody, and we'll check it out. See if. Oh no! Oil pan. Aha! Oh wait, we need that. We need to fill up that oil. That's the word I couldn't remember earlier. All right, oil pan for V8. You got it. And we'll go up under here. Oh, whoa, whoa. My mouse got a little squirrely there. There we go. Okay, and we'll slide this guy. Oh, get out front. I need to lift. Don't want, don't want to crush me there. Dun, dun, dun. And time to fill up the oil. Some good old 10W30. Kind of like every other motor in this game. I wonder if they changed it for the for the W12 engine actually. If they changed a lot of other things. They might have. Okay, everybody, that is that's that's a wrap for that car. At least I mean I'm not done yet, but that's a wrap. So we got a total of 131,000, 120, 21,000, 20, 22,000, 122,000. That's quite a bit of money, $122,000 for this car. That means for that, for that Bentley, we should be able to get, if we can manage to pull one of those Bentleys out of an auction, I think we'll get $200,000 out of that actually. Um, and we will, do we have this thing tested yet? Well, we'll move it over here to the, to the dyno. Goes in here and we will, we'll dyno it, see what it runs. Have a cardboard when I think it's an ECU. Alright. So we're just gonna try and hit this to like a what was that? Plus one, dang it. I want like a plus eleven, everybody. Or a plus nine. Alright. Oh, that reset it. Come on. Plus six. Get them all to line up at the top of green, though. Oh. This goes up. This one go up. Come on. Something good. Come on. Just trying. Three percent. That's pretty close, but why isn't it sucking me any power gains yet? Ah, uh, we didn't get anything. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna go with the 3% tuning. We're gonna run this. Alright. Oh, I think we might hit 600. Oh, not even 600. Wow, that kind of, that goes even with the Corvette. That's 
that's actually really, really crazy. Corvette doesn't even have a turbo. Nothing that's a twin turbo. Wow. We will also we'll hit this thing on the. Let's see, what did that give us? 543. We'll take this on the uh, test track. Not the test track, the, the drag strip. Let's just say the the old factory test track is a little a little too scary to be driving on. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Just gotta get our gear ratio. B. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got this. Wow, the Maserati looks really nice on the inside. Ready? good run actually that was a pretty good run quarter of a mile was 12 seconds that's not bad four and a half seconds for a zero to 100 that's actually that's insane <laughs> that's really crazy okay well we will return to garage all right all right everybody i think we're ready to i think we're ready to sell this kind of sad to see it go i mean going from an old old rust bucket to to this guy oh let's see 93,000 all right well let's let's do it $98,000 that is more than our other our last restore our last restore brought us up to 76,000 I think roughly 76,000 well, this is this is pretty exciting though everybody i mean this is a lot of money but let me move this one over here move this car over to my left left there so this 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 old old beat down guy is gonna be what we're working on next video uh i think we're gonna be doing we're definitely gonna be doing a uh an engine swap we're gonna be moving this engine from the v8 one carb it is right now to a v8 overhead cam supercharged two carb double carb be able to get the little flaps up top pushing 418 horsepower just what we need to assemble all right but that's what we were working on next video guys so let's say thank you everybody for watching and uh don't forget to leave a like if you like the video if you're liking these restorations let me know because these restorations are really 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 cool and i like seeing the before and after pictures i'll post one uh, right here I'll post a, a review or not a view I'll post a before and after picture of the Maserati right here on the screen and I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys for watching I mean most of this I would not be doing without your guys's encouragement and feedback and I just wanted to let you guys know I really really appreciate that so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and I will see all of you in the next video